I'm Tinsy Tarantula, and these are my spiders. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and a, another Fluval Evo video. So, as the title says, a new escape and step-by-step -step guide on achieving a soft coral tank. So the new escape is literally that piece of rock at the back and that piece of rock there. But we're going to give you a step-by-step -step guide how you can achieve an awesome soft coral aquarium. So this is the Fluval Evo. The substrate is actually Aquaforest Argonite. You can use reef sand if you want, but I decided to go for um, Argonite. It was a bit cheaper than the normal reef sand. The rock structures, or should we say the rocks, are actually Carib Sea Life Rock. So you've got a bit of Carib Sea Life Rock there, a bit there, and a bit there. Some have got a purplish colour, and some have been here a bit longer, and they've got greenish. A bit of hair algae on there that I've got to pull off. Just a tiny bit there, and a tiny little bit on the back. That's about it for hair algae-wise. This one is actually two parts of Carib Sea Life Rock. I've also got some Aptasia. They've got to get an Aptasia eater in here. Yeah. This is actually two parts, which I've actually cemented together with reef putty. The fish is obviously your standard clownfish, your ocularis, and a tail spot blenny. You, you've got your standard cleanup crew, your Nazareth snails, your Neurat snails, your bumblebee snails, a conch, a conch snail, and your serif snails, corals. That is a standard toadstool. The reason why it's got a band around it is so the toadstool can actually attach itself to the rock, hence why the band's around the rock there. That is just some pulsing xenia. That in the corner is actually um, a rare GSP, purple GSP. We've got obviously that red there is actually a bit of macro algae. The back coral there is actually a Gogornian. You've got a normal Kenya tree there. You've got a um, long haired GSP there. And that big green thing at the back is actually a neon green Kenya tree that is growing humongous. Simple, easy to set up, soft coral tank, not very demanding, um, wise for nutrients or stuff. They are soft corals, every single one of them. Um, there's no um, LPS or SPS in here. So they all get the same food, um, which is frozen mysis. Um, they get, um, well, so they get frozen mysis, they get liquid phytoplankton and liquid zooplankton, and they get um, NT Labs reef snow. And the fish are doing great, the corals are doing amazing, as you can see. And once a week, they get a bit of all in off um, tropic, tropic marin or for reef which is basically a product that just keeps your calcium, your um, alkalinity, and gives you a bit of iodine. And that is pretty much it. Light is the Fluval, the Fluval Nano Saltwater Light, automatic timer. Pump is a TMC pump with an Oase heater. Obviously, a J-Cod wave maker that is on about setting number three, and that is pretty much it. Um, simple, 
easy, obviously escape. Just a bit of, like I said, a bit of aptasia here and there, and obviously a bit of hair algae that I'll pull, but that is pretty much it. All the corals are thriving. That green, neon green Kenya tree needs to stop growing. It's getting humongous. All the corals are doing great. So there you have it, a simple. The macro algae is doing well as well. Simple, easy, soft coral aquarium with two fish. And that is about it. So you can achieve this yourself if you want. But I thought I'd give you a rundown of everything I've used and all the corals and the fish. Just so you can see, you can achieve an awesome little nano salt water tank without having to break the bank. Hello Nemo and Derpy. Yep, you're going to get fed in a minute. But all the corals are doing well, as you can see. Great stuff. is doing well all the animals are doing well and this is the most fun I have um, when I'm adding stuff to the salt water tank or buying new tarantulas I've been making videos for over three years now over 500 videos and the channel is really growing well so I want to thank each and everybody um, and hopefully the channel gets bigger. It'd be awesome if you could drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe so we can really grow the channel. And like I said, a massive thank you to all the OGs and all the new subscribers. It is the most fun I have filming all the animal videos. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment and bye for now.